Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. I'm going to show you an application called Immersed. Immersed allows you to stream your desktop or laptop PC to your Oculus Quest. And I'm also going to show you virtual desktop as well. So I've been playing around with Immersed for the last couple of days and I just wanted to show you what it looks like. Immersed is an application you can actually download for free on the App Store. It doesn't cost anything. Uh, with the free version, you'll be able to stream three screens like this. Obviously, these screens, uh, you can make them as big as you want, so and you can move them. So, for example, I just this is my current laptop I'm using. Over here, you can see this is the mouse and keyboard. It's in pass-through mode. Uh, so to get this working, all you guys need to do is get the app on your Quest and then also what you guys need is the Immersed Agent. So it's just like an agent that runs on your PC and this what this does is then streams it directly to your Quest 3 and it's as simple as that. If I pick up my controllers here, you can see there's a menu and then if you go to computers, you can see it's paired the computers up. Now the pairing is done through Wi-Fi, so you can walk anywhere in your house or if you're in a cafe and you just want to leave your laptop around, you can do that. The screens themselves are um, HD resolution. It can go up to 4K, but you actually have to pay a subscription fee for that. Under profile, you'll see here they charging five bucks a month for Pro. And this allows you to have up to five virtual uh, screens as well. So you can then pump up the resolution. Now guys, to be honest with you, this resolution is good enough for me. I mean, I'll just show you guys what it looks like. So my laptop is actually not very powerful. It's not VR capable. And that's one of the reasons why I didn't go with the o Oculus um, Meta Horizon Teams because it didn't actually pick up my graphics card because it's a built-in Intel card. I don't have a, a GPU or gaming laptop or anything like that. This is the latency, you know, it's pretty good. You can do Excel, big screen. So here's CapCut over here. There's like the this is a short that I've just created. So yeah, so if you wanted to like work with it, you could go in and you know add some text or whatever you do. Obviously, the more powerful PC you have, the better it is. And also, if you plug it in probably to um, to your router, it will probably help. But Wi-Fi seems. Uh, you know good enough as well so you know obviously there is a small lag but it's not too bad just go through there obviously with the screen as i was saying to you you can do everything that you do on your pc if you really want to start resize this you can just go here and resize it you can move this around however you want so on the back here you can see this is my actual monitor that i have um, on my desk so i'm just in pass through mode here you know you can see it's the same background on my left here is my work laptop you can see the screen let me just move this one out the way you can see here's my work laptop and um see this as well through pass through uh this is a test there so you can see the screen there if there is other immersion modes so you can see here you go to menu and you can go to different rooms so if you want like a coffee shop environment you can Oh, sorry, you could just go here and you just type in virtual reality so you can change it if you want like more of a coffee shop set up. I've got some cars outside here and you can move your screens around. If you want to change your position, like if you wanted to go sit at the bar or something like that, you can just go change seats and then you can put, you know, uh, at the bar and order gin and tonic or something like that and just have your, your monitor set up like that. And then this one, you can just, you just pull it up make oops the snapping does require a little bit of getting used to but well, i think there's a setting inside your snapping to grid so if you go to settings or my room uh, snap to grid i think that may be it and then you can yeah that's the setting so if you put that setting up you can have it however you want um whoops there we go and also you can curve the screen so if you want it more curved you can have it you know curved and as flat as you want cool there are some other features like a whiteboard um which you can set up as well uh which is 
sort of knew how this worked, but it's just a simple whiteboard that you can have. Can't get this working at the moment. There's also, obviously you don't, you don't see your keyboard, uh, but you have to go into sort of this mixed reality if you want to see it. There is an option where you can actually go and cut, have this cut out as well. Um, so you have a tracking, uh, you can connect your own Bluetooth keyboards to this thing as well. And there's also like this thing where you can actually um, join like a public environment. So I'll show you this one where you actually meet people and you can talk to them in a public space. So I think this is the public space. Uh, change seats. So it looks like no one's here, but generally there's some people around here as well that you can talk to and interact. Um, so, and they obviously have different settings as I showed you guys uh, that have this. Uh, the more you use it, the more points you get. So, um, so yeah, that's it. I might just show you guys what virtual desktop looks like as well. So I've also installed that and just show you the guys the difference between the two. So I might just exit out of this application. Now virtual desktop is a similar thing. You just get an app, install it on your desktop, uh, but it is 20 bucks to buy for this and it doesn't have more than one monitor. So you only have one monitor as well. So this is it over here. So the, the only difference is you can interact with these with your thing. So now if i clicked on that there with the mouse you can in interact with there but uh it works in like a similar way with your headset uh, i'm not picking up my mouse at all so oh, there it is i actually it's weird i can't see it but uh settings so this is more for like gaming and stuff so it's not as good as immersed uh but you can actually use it for you know desktop streaming but as i said it only has one monitor so yeah guys